let me officially welcome you to the Rotaract Club of Grenada and the Communal Cooperative Credit Union Limited 32nd Annual Spelling Bee. It has been a long time coming. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together for the re-emergence of the National Spelling Bee. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Akina Romaine and I will be your master of ceremony for today's proceedings. We have a really packed today, so I don't want to spare any time. We are going to get right into it. At this point in time, ladies and gentlemen, I want to invite Rotor actor Amana Hostin to lead us in a prayer and the anthem. Amana Hostin. Good morning to all. Can we kindly stand? And bow our heads. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks and praise for this day. We give you thanks that we can come here to participate at the semifinals of the Spelling Bee. We pray that everything that is done will be done in decency and in order, that you will give the students confidence and bravery to spell their words correctly, and at the end we will have the finalists coming up. We pray for the parents, we pray for all those here, for the sponsors, we pray that they will all be blessed by what is transpiring here, in Jesus' name, amen. Hail Grenada, land of us, we pledge ourselves to thee. Heads, hearts, and hands in unity to reach our destiny. Ever conscious of God, being proud of our heritage, may we with faith and courage aspire, build, advance as one people. One family, God bless our nation. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you may be seated. At this point in time, I want to invite President Von Lee Cyrus to give the president's remarks. Good morning, everyone, and welcome. I'd like to officially welcome each and every one of you today to the semifinals and finals of the Rotaract Club of Grenada and the Communal Cooperative Credit Union Limited 32nd Annual Spelling Bee. Now, this morning, I stand here with a very, very grateful heart. I am grateful that our club is able to get this project off the ground after five years since it last occurred in 2018. I am very grateful that the Communal Cooperative Credit Union Limited has agreed to partner with us to make this project a reality and a success. Words cannot fully describe the gratitude I feel right now that me and my club feel on this day. As president, bringing back Spelling Bee was one of my mandates and I wanted the club to get this project up and running because this project is a very near and dear project to me as over a decade ago, I too was once a participant in this event. I sat in this very auditorium and uh, well, I emerged as the overall winner of the competition. So I know what it's like participants because I was once in your shoes. I know how nervous you can be, but everything will be okay and it will be a great day today, right? So 
I understand the importance that such a competition can have on a child's life. Because it's from this said competition that I knew that I wanted to be part of Rotaract. And as I turned 18, I joined Rotaract, right? This competition also paved the way for me to gain exposure to healthy competitions. Um, because of this, I was willing to participate in activities like Knowledge Bowl, Debate, Brain Bee, and these things, right? And I'm sure I will see most of you, if not all of you, participating in years to come in whatever event you may be representing your secondary school in. I will see you, right? So I can promise you that the Rotaract Club of Grenada is in fact committed to bringing back Spelling Bee and we hope in the years to come that we will continue on with this project, right? Um, we are committed to promoting basic education and literacy throughout Grenada as it's one of our mandates that we do all of our projects and plan activities by. Right, so I will not stay here any longer. Um, once again, thank you, thank you, thank you to the Communal Cooperative Credit Union Limited for agreeing to partner, partner with us in making this project a reality. Thank you again to the students and the teachers and the schools for your willingness to participate in today's proceedings because without you, this would not be possible. And uh, I also, well, finally, as I leave, I want to wish each and every one of you behind me today all the best. You got this, and uh, may the best participant win. Thank you. Thank you so much, President Vondi, for those remarks. At this point in time, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to get into the meat of the matter. We are about to begin our spelling bee. But before we do so, we want to have some brief in introductions, and I want to take this opportunity to officially welcome the semi-finalists here. Let's put our hands together for them, please. And as I call your names, I just want you to stand and give a nice little wave. Nice little wave for the audience. Lighten up yourself. Let's lighten up the mood, okay? Don't be nervous, right? So from the Alpha Junior School, we have Zara Stephen. Thank you, Zara. From the Beacon Junior School, we have Kaylee Chow. From the Berean Christian Academy, Maya Alexis. From the Bonaire Government School, Kedani Panchu. From the, Con from the Caliste Government School, we have Zadie Clowden. From the Concord Government School, we have Larissa Batiste. From the Constantine Methodist School, we have Dara Namede. From the Grace Lutheran School, we have Reusi Shur. From the Lyons Mennonite School, we have Monique Mapson. From Our Lady of the Rosary Catholic School, Nia Joseph. From the Paraclete Government School, we have Teresa Fraser. From the St. Andrew's Roman Catholic School, Vania Forrester. From the St. George's Anglican Senior School, Zachary Whiteman. From the St. Joseph's Catholic Primary School, Pomerose, Nikela Hankey. From the St. Joseph's Catholic Primary School, Monjalu, Tejan Andal. From St. Louis RC Girls School, Libby Mark. From the St. Martin de Porras Catholic School, Jafari Morin. From the St. Matthews Roman Catholic School, we have Phoebe Baptiste. From the St. Peter's Catholic School, Maya Ramdeen. And from St. Thomas Aquinas Catholic School, we have Kareem Blessed Ruben Jr. Patrice. That's a lot of names. <laughs> you, you, you really could spell. <laughs> right, guys. So now that we have our spellers introduced, I want to introduce our, our competent 
panel that will be adjudicating and will be facilitating the spelling bee today. Our timekeepers, Rotor Actor Cherise Noel and Rotor Actor Greta Ambrose. Our scorekeepers, Rotor Actor Shaquida Joseph and Rotor Actor Val Andrews. Our word caller, past Rotor Actor Miss Kemalyn Regis. Our judges for today, Rotarian Judy Machuchin and Rotarian Keisha Miller and Rotarian Al Alana Wilson. Right. Did I butcher any names? My apologies. All right, ladies and gentlemen, at this point in time, I want to invite our head judge to read the rules for us. That is Miss Judy. Okay, she, she tell me hush, so she go correct me when she reach up there. Just a quick switcheroo. Miss Judy, name to be announced. Good morning, everyone. For the correct pronunciation of my name, <laughs> it's Judy McCutcheon. So I'm, I'm going to read the rules for the semifinal rounds. The following briefly outlines the running of the spelling bee competition for the semifinal rounds of competition. Any question or queries should be directed to the panel of judges only by the chaperone of the participant. The participants will be asked to spell in rounds with each student spelling one word per round. Participants will be called to the microphone to spell their respective word, after which he or she will return to their assigned seat. Each word will be called once, then the word will be used in a sentence or a definition, after which the word will be called a second time. Participants will begin to spell the word after it has been called a second time. Participants have 10 seconds to commence spelling the word. Timing will begin after the word is called a second time and the moderator says begin. If after 10 seconds there is no start, the participant loses his or her turn and the word is recorded as incorrectly spelt. So participants, as soon as you hear the moderator say, begin, start spelling your words so you don't lose that round. Participants will have 30 seconds to complete each word. Once 20 seconds has elapsed and the participant has not yet completed the word, the participant will not be allowed to restart but can continue. So after 20 seconds has elapsed, the participant cannot begin to spell the word again. Each participant will be allowed no more than two attempts to restart a word within the 20 second window. Participants will be allowed one incorrectly spelled word, after which a subsequent incorrect answer will result in elimination from the competition which means that if two words are spelt incorrectly, the student is automatically eliminated from the competition. 
Incorrectly spelt words will be correctly spelt by the moderator. The semifinal round will continue until there are 10 participants remaining. And these 10 particip participants will advance to the finals. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ms. McCutcheon. So ladies and gentlemen, at this point in time, we are going to begin the spelling bee. We are going to start what we all are here for, right? Students, are we ready? Are we ready? Yes? Lovely. Parents, are we ready? Yes. Supporters? Just some, another um, addition to the rules. So after 10 seconds, the bell will be rung once. After 20 seconds, twice. And after 30 seconds, three times. In the event that there is a tiebreaker, all, in the event that all the words of a round have been exhausted and there is still a tie among two or more participants, the tie must be broken by a sudden death spell-off. This spell-off allows each participant 90 seconds to spell as many words as possible. The words will be given by the moderator. The participant with the highest number of correctly spelled words will emerge as the winner of the tiebreaker. Thank you. All right, thank you. So we ready, ready now. Yeah? Students? I don't wanna shake it off. We good? Right. Ladies and gentlemen, I am going to hand you over to our word caller, pastoral director, Ms. Kemalyn Regis. She is going to facilitate you from here on. Students, good luck. Ms. Regis. Good morning all, thank you so much for being here. Participants, are you ready? Again, can you hear me clearly? Is this better? Yes? Great. So when I was asking if you guys are ready to go, you didn't hear me? No? Are you ready to go? <laughs> you can't hear me still? Are you ready to go? <laughs> Parents, I think we need to go home. Right, but as the president said, may the best speller win today. We are all here to support you through this, okay? So we are going to start as we would at the beginning. And we're going to begin. I am going to call out first the category of the word, then the word, then the word in a sentence or definition, and finally, the word you need to spell, and then I'll say begin. We all understand? 
Okay, I'm taking nodding of heads because that's all I'm gonna get this morning. All right, so we'll begin with Alpha Junior School. The category of the word is words commonly misspelled. Your word is liaison. Communications for establishing and maintaining mutual understanding and cooperation as between parts of an armed force. Liaison. L-I-A-I-S-O-N. Correct. Be Beacon Junior School. Your word category is flora and fauna. Your word is pelagic. Pelagic refers to organisms living or growing at or near the surface of the ocean far from land. Pelagic. You may begin. Pelagic. Was that correct? Pelagic? Pelagic. P-E-L-A-J-R-I-C? Incorrect. P-E-L-A-J-I-C? Incorrect. P-E-L-A-G-I-C? Correct. Beacon Junior School, you restarted after the 20 seconds um, elapsed, so that word is, we have to put it as incorrect. Yes. You got the word, the last word you spelled was correct, but because you restarted after the 20 seconds, okay? Okay, thank you, we will progress. Thanks for the clarification, judges. Our next school is Bonaire Government School. Sorry, Berean Christian Academy. Your category is sports. Your word is deuce. Deuce in tennis is a situation as a score of 40 to 40 in a game or five to five in a match in which a player must score two successive points to win the game or two successive games to win the set. Deuce, you may begin. Deuce, D-U-I-C-E. Incorrect. D-U-I-C-E-E. -E. Incorrect. D-U-I-E-C-E-E. -E. Incorrect. D-U-C-E-E. -E. Okay. So you, your word is incorrect. The correct spelling is D-E-U-C-E. -E, deuce. Okay, just a point of clarification. Yes, um, yes. 
Each participant will be allowed no more than two attempts to restart a word within a 20 second window. Okay? So keep in mind that you can only restart the word twice. Okay? Banana. Okay, so we'll begin again. Banana government. Your word category is language and arts. Your word is pigeon. Pigeon is used for describing speech or language in which a foreign language is mixed with the speaker's first language. Pigeon. Begin. P I C H O N P I T O N The, okay, the correct spelling is P I D G I N. Just a point for clarification and to confirm that you have heard the word, I would love if you can pronounce the word you heard before you begin spelling. Can you guys do that? Right. Just to make sure we are all clear. Okay, so we go on to Concord Government School. Kalis, Kalis Government School. Kalis Government School, your category is festival, and your word is juve. Jim's phone got covered in paint during juve. 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 J-U-V-I-E, juve. Incorrect. J-U-V-E, juve. Incorrect. J U. Your time has been expended. Thank you so much. The correct. The word is spelt Juve. J O U V E R T. Continue with Concord. Concord Government School. Your category is countries or nationalities. Your word is Curacao. Curacao is the main island of the Netherlands Antilles, off the northwest coast of Venezuela. Curacao. Begin. Q W A S A L. Incorrect. Q S A L. Incorrect. Continue. You have one more chance. Okay, your time has been exhausted.
We're on to Constantine Methodist School. You didn't give the correct spelling of Curacao. Sorry, the correct spelling of Curacao is C-U-R-A-C-A-O. Okay, we're on to your category, and that's health and nutrition. Your word is probiotic, a usually dairy food or a dietary supplement containing live bacteria that replace or add to the beneficial bacteria normally present in a gastrointestinal tract. Probiotic. Probiotic. Begin. Probiotic. P-R-O-B-I-O-T-I-C. Correct. Okay, thank you. This mic seems much better. Okay, we are now at Grace Lutheran School. Your category is astrology and astronomy. Your word is aurora. The aurora australis is also known as the southern lights. Aurora, begin. Aurora, A-U-R-O-R-A. -R -R Correct. Lyme's Mennonite School. Your category, could we have a mic adjustment, please? Thank you. Your category is mathematics. Your word is Rhombus, an oblique angled equilateral parallelogram, any equilateral, any equilateral parallelogram except a square. Rhombus, begin. Rhombus, R-H-O-M-B-U-S. Correct. <laughs> Our Lady of the Rosary Catholic School. Your category is astrology and astronomy. Your word is solstice, the time or date at which the sun reaches its maximum or minimum declination marked by the longest and shortest days. Solstice, begin. Solstice, S-O-S-L-I-S-T. Incorrect. Solstis, S-O-L-S-I-T-T. -T. Incorrect. Solstis, S-O-L. Your, your time is complete. Sorry. The correct spelling of solstis is S-O-L-S-T-I-C-E. We're on to... Paraclete Government School. Your category is words commonly misspelled. Your word is amateur. One lacking in experience and competence in an art or science. Amateur. Begin. Am amateur. A M A T U R E. Incorrect. A I M T U R E. Incorrect. A 
I M A T U R E. Incorrect. The correct spelling of amateur is A M A T E U R. Our next speller is from St. Andrew's Roman Catholic School. Your word category is health and nutrition. Your word is hygienic, tending to promote or preserve health. Hygienic. Begin. Hygienic. H-Y-G-I-E-N-I-C. Correct. Okay. Our next speller comes from St. George's Anakin Junior School. Senior. Senior. Your word category is language and arts. Your word is phatic. In linguistics, a phatic expression is communication which serves a social function such as small talk and social pleasantries that doesn't seek or offer any information of value. Phatic. Phatic. Begin. Phatic. F A T I C. Incorrect. Fatic. F A C T I C. Incorrect. P H A T I C. Correct. <laughs> Our next speller comes from St. Joseph's Catholic Primary School. Monjalu. <laughs> Your word category is flora and fauna. Your word is fecund. Fecund means producing or capable of producing an abundance of offspring or new growth. Fertile. Fecund. Fecund. F E C O N T. Incorrect. Fecund. F E C K O N T. Incorrect. Fecund. Your time is exhausted. The correct spelling of fecund is F E C U N D. Our next speller is from St. Joseph's Catholic Primary School, Palm Rose. Right, your word category is astrology and astronomy. Your word is Inertia. Inertia refers to the physical force that keeps something in the same position. Inertia. Inertia. A N U S I A. Incorrect. A N U S E R A. Incorrect. A S N U S E R A. Incorrect, and your time has been exhausted. The correct spelling of the word inertia is I N E R T I E. Our next speller comes from St. Louis R. C. Girls School.
ยึกยึกว่าคัตเตอรี่คือ emotions และ personal traits ยึกว่าคัตเตอรี่ Stoical. Stoical means during pain and hardship without showing one's feelings or complaining. Stoical. Begin. Stoical. S T O W I C A L. Incorrect. Stoic. S T O S T O C A L. Incorrect. Oh. S T O W I C A L. Incorrect, and your time is exhausted. The correct spelling of stoical is S T O I C A L. We now progress to Saint Martin the Porous Catholic School. Your word category is flora and fauna. Your word is ginkgo. A ginkgo is a large shade tree that has fan-shaped leaves and fleshy seeds. Ginkgo. Begin. Ginkgo. G-I-N-G-C-O. Incorrect. Ginkgo. G-I-N-C-O. Incorrect. You can repeat the word, please. Ginkgo. Unfortunately, your time has been exhausted. The correct spelling of ginkgo is G-I-N-K-G-O. We now progress to St. Peter's Catholic School. Sorry, St. Matthew's Roman Catholic School. Your word category is astrology and astronomy. Your word is perigee, the point in an orbit of the moon or a satellite at which it is nearest to the earth. Perigee, begin. Per perigee. P-E-R-I-C-H-E. Incorrect. Perigee. P-E-R-I-C-H-Y. Incorrect. Perigee. P-E-R-E-C-H-Y. Incorrect. The word is perigee. P-E-R-I-G-E-E. -E. All right, we are going to progress to St. Peter's Catholic. Your word category comes from language and arts. Your word is opaque. Opaque is when an object is impenetrable to the passing of light. Opaque. O P. A Q U E opaque. Correct. And the last word in round one goes to the Saint Thomas Aquinas Catholic School. Your word comes from the category emotions and personal traits. Your word is wrathful. All the students trembled when the wrathful principal entered the room. Wrathful. Begin. Wrathful. R A T H F O. Incorrect. Could you repeat the word? Repeat. Wrathful. Wrathful.
Okay. R-A-T-H-V-O. Incorrect. The correct spelling of wrathful is W-R-A-T-H-F-U-L. We have now come to the end of round one.
you would love it, I'm going to repeat again. If you can, repeat the word before you begin spelling. And please wait for me to say, begin before you start spelling. Okay? That will help us tremendously. Okay? So we're going to start again at the top. We begin with Alpha Junior School. Your word comes from the category words commonly misspelled. Your word is succinct, especially of something written or spoken, briefly and clearly expressed. Succinct. Begin. Succinct. S-U-C-C-I-N-C-T. Correct. Beacon Junior School. Your word comes from the category language and arts. Your word is catalog. The whole holiday was a catalog of disasters. Catalog. Begin. Catalog. C A T A L O G U E. Correct. Berean Christian Academy. Your word comes from the category astrology and astronomy. Your word is meteorite. A meteorite is a piece of rock or other matter from space that has landed on Earth. Meteorite. Begin. Meteorite. M-E-T-E-O-R-I-T-E. -E. Correct. Bonaire Government School. Your word comes from the category language and arts. Your word is disyllabic. Disyllabic refers to a word consisting of or pertaining to two syllables. Disyllabic. Begin. May you please repeat the word? Disyllabic or disyllabic. D I S I K E. Incorrect. May I please repeat the word once more? Disyllabic. D I S A B I K E. Incorrect. You have one more chance. The correct spelling is D-I-S-Y-L-L-A-B-I-C. Okay, we now continue with Kalis Government School. Your word comes from the category Flora and fauna. Your word is nocturnal. These animals are strictly nocturnal. Nocturnal. Begin. Nocturnal. N-O-C-T-U-R-N-A-L. Nocturnal. Correct. <laughs> we progress with Concord Government School. Your word comes from the category countries and nationalities. Your word is Kuwait. Kuwait is a country in Western Asia. Kuwait. Begin. Q W A I T E. Incorrect. Q W A I T. Incorrect. You. you can continue. A T E. Incorrect. The correct spelling of Kuwait is K U W E I T.
We progress with Constantine Methodist School. Your word comes from the category Flora and Fauna. Your word is Detritus. Detritus is loose materials such as rock, fragments, or organic particles that result directly from disintegration. Detritus. Detritus. D I G E T O U S. Incorrect. Detritus. D I G I T O U S. Incorrect. Detritus. D I G E T U S. Incorrect. The correct spelling is Detritus. D E T R I T U S. We progress with the Grace Lutheran School. Your word category is astrology and astronomy. Your word is meridian. The meridian is an imaginary line drawn from pole to pole. Meridian, begin. Meridian, M-E-R-I-D-I-A-N. Correct. Limes Mennonite School. Your word comes from the category emotions and personal traits. Your word is flummox. Flummox means to perplex someone greatly, bewilder. Flummox. Begin. Flamox, P H L A M O X. Incorrect. Flamox, F L A M M O X. Incorrect. Flamox is spelled F L U M M O X. Our Lady of the Rosary Catholic School. Your word category is countries and nationalities. Your word is Guinea, a country in West Africa bordered on the west by the Atlantic Ocean. Guinea, begin. You have not. Can you repeat the word, please? Okay, you did not begin in the initial 10 seconds of the calling of the word. So the word is recorded as incorrect. The word is spelled G U I N E A, Guinea. Paraclete Government School. That's going. Your word comes from the category sports. Your word is Olympiad. An Olympiad is a celebration of the modern Olympic Games. Olympiad. Begin. Ol <coughs> Olympiad, O L Y M P I A T. Repeat. Olympiad, O L Y M P I A T. What's your last letter? T. Incorrect. O L Y M P I A C. Incorrect. O L Y M P I A K. Incorrect. The correct spelling is O L Y M P I A D.
We are progressing to the next school, and that school is St. Andrew's Roman Catholic School. Okay, your word comes from the category Music and Musical Instruments. Your word is grandioso, to be played in a grand manner. Grandioso. Begin. Grandioso. G-R-A-N-D-I-O-C-O. -O. Incorrect. Could you repeat the word, please? Grandioso. Go ahead. Grandioso. G-R-A-N-D-I-O-C-O-U. Incorrect. Your time has been exhausted. The correct spelling of grandioso is G-R-A-N-D-I-O-S-O. -O. We are going on to St. Andrew's Roman Catholic School. St. George's Anakin Senior School. Your word comes from the category language and arts. Your word is aesthetic. The colors chosen to paint the room took away from its aesthetic. Aesthetic. E S T E T H I C. Incorrect. Aesthetic. Can you repeat the word, please? Aesthetic. Aesthetic. E S T E T I C. Incorrect. Your time has been exhausted. The correct spelling of aesthetic is. A E S T H E T I C. St. Joseph's Catholic Primary School, Monjo. We would just like to remind all our well wishers and supporters that we need quiet to do two things concentrate and to hear the words being spelled. So please do your best to be quiet. Thank you. Your work comes from the category astronomy and astrology. Your word is pulverize. Pulverize means to reduce to very small particles. Pulverize. Begin. Pul pulverize. P U L V E R I S E Incorrect. The correct spelling of pulverize is P U L V E R I Z E. We're going on to St. Joseph's Catholic Primary School, Primrose. Primrose. We are going on to the category words commonly misspelled. Your word is inoculate. To inject a weak version of a disease into a body as a way to protect it from diseases. Inoculate. Begin. Inoculate. I N O C U L A T E. Correct. <laughs> St. Louis RC Girls School. Your work comes from the category Flora and Fauna. 
Your word is antennae. The antennae of an insect are the parts of long, thin organs that are found on the head and are used to feel with. Antennae. Antennae. Begin. Antenna. Oh, antennae. <laughs> Okay. Start. A N T E N E A. Incorrect. A N T. A N T. The correct spelling of antennae is. A N T E N N A E. Say Martin the Porous Catholic School. Your word comes from the category emotions and personal traits. Your word is conceited. To be conceited means having too high an opinion of oneself. Conceited. Conce Begin. Conceited. C O N C E I T E D. Correct. St. Matthew's Roman Catholic School. Your word comes from the category language and arts. Your word is anaphora. Anaphora is the use of a word referring to or replacing a word used earlier in a sentence to avoid repetition, sound such as do, do in, I like it, and so do thee. Anaphora. Anaphora. A N A F O R A. Incorrect. Anaphora, A-N-A-P-H-O-R-A. -A -A. Correct. St. Peter's Catholic School. Your word comes from a category, words commonly misspelled. Your word is exhilarate, to make cheerful and excited. Exhilarate, begin. Exhilarate. E X H I L E R A T E. Incorrect. E X I L E R A T E. Incorrect. E X H I L L E R A T E. Incorrect. The correct spelling of exhilarate is E X H I L A R A T E. Yes, St. Thomas Aquinas Catholic School, Aquinas. Your word comes from the category festival. Your word is Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa is an African-American cultural celebration lasting from 26 December to 1st January. Kwanzaa. Begin. Q U A N T A. Incorrect. Can you repeat the word, please? Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa. Q U A N Z A. Incorrect. The correct spelling of Kwanzaa is K-W-A-N-Z-A-A. -A. We have come to the end of round two. Okay, we've come to the end of round two, and based on the rules, after two 
incorrectly spelt words, the contestants are eliminated from the competition. We have seven eliminations at this point. So I'm going to call the school and you will come forward, take a nice bow, we'll clap for you and you'll take your seats, okay? So we have Bonaire Government School, got two words in correct as well. Thank you. We have Concord Government School. We have Our Lady of the Rosary Catholic School. We have Paraclete Government. We have St. Joseph Primary Monjalu. We have St. Louis RC Girls. And we have St. Thomas Aquinas Catholic School. Thank you all very much. You did excellent. You got to the semifinal round. We'll now begin round three. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not easy to sit up there and spell in front of a group of well-wishers, the people who have been supporting you so long and so hard, practicing, etc. So once again, I would love if you could give the kids that got eliminated a hearty round of applause, please. They did well. Just getting to the stage of this competition is quite a feat. So I want to encourage you, even though they have not gotten as far as the finals, give them some big hugs, please, because they did a wonderful job. Okay, as we begin round three, I'm just going to remind you again to please repeat the word you would have heard me pronounce. And at any point, if you're confused, you are free to ask me to pronounce the word again. Okay, guys, that's okay? All right, so let's go. Just a reminder to our audience to please be quiet because we still need to hear our participants on the stage. Thank you so much. So round three, we're beginning with Alpha Junior School. Your word category is religion. Your word is lectionary a book containing readings appointed to be read at divine services. Lectionary, begin. Lectionary, L-E-C-T-I-O-N-A-R-Y. Correct. <laughs> Beacon Junior School. Your word category is language and arts. Your word is Ambiguity. We wish to remove any ambiguity concerning our demands. Ambiguity. Begin. Can you repeat the word again, please? Ambiguity. Okay. A M B I G U A T Y. Incorrect. Spell again. Ambiguity. A M B I G U I T Y. Correct. Berean Christian Academy. Your word comes from the category countries and nationalities. Your word is Malaysia. Malaysia is known for its beaches, rainforests, and mix of Malay, 
Chinese, Indian, and European influences. Malaysia. Begin. Malaysia. M-A-L-A-Y-S-I-A. Correct. <laughs> Kalis Government School. Your word comes from the category emotions and personal traits. Your word is repugnant. Repugnant refers to something or someone extremely distasteful or unacceptable. Repugnant. Begin. Repugnant. R-E-P-U-G-N-A-N-T. Repugnant. Correct. Constantine Methodist School. Your word comes from the category festivals. Your word is masquerade, a, a type of party where people wear special costumes and masks over their faces to hide their identities. Masquerade. Masquerade. Begin. Masquerade, M-A-S-S-C-A-R-A-D-E. Incorrect. Masquerade, M-A-S-S-C-A-H-R-A-D-E. Incorrect. Masquerade, M-A-S-S. -S. Masquerade, M-A-S. No. You can't restart. Okay. Our apologies. The word masquerade is spelled M A S Q U E R A T E. We move on to Constantine Methodist School. Sorry, Grace Lutheran School. Your word comes from the category technology. Your word is archetype an original model after which other similar things are patterned. Archetype. Could Begin. You please repeat the word. Archetype. Archetype. A-R-C-H-I-T-Y-P-E. Incorrect. A-R-C-H-E-T-Y-P-E. Correct. Limes Mennonite School. Your word comes from the category flora and fauna. Your word is amphibian. An amphibian is a smooth skin invertebrate such as a frog or salamander. Amphibian. Begin. Amphibian. A M P H I B I A N. Correct. <laughs> St. Andrew's Roman Catholic School. Your word comes from the category technology. Your word is cryptography, the practice and study of encoding data so that it can only be decoded by specific individuals. Cryptography, begin. Cryptography, C-R-Y-P-T-O-G-R-A-P-H-Y. Correct. <laughs> St. George's Anakin Senior School. Your word comes from the category business. And your word is unanimous, of one mind in complete agreement, agreed. Unanimous, begin. Unanimous, U-N-I-N-A-N-I-M-O-U-S. Incorrect. U-N-A-N. I M O U S. Correct. St. Joseph's Catholic Primary School.
Palm Rose. Your word comes from the category flora and fauna. Your word is limnology. Limnology is the study of bio biological, chemical, and physical features of lakes and other bodies of fresh water. Limnology. Begin. Limnology. L-Y-M-N-O-L-O-G-Y. Incorrect. L-I-M-N-O-L-O-G-Y. Correct. <laughs> the St. Martin the Poorest Catholic School. Your word comes from the category health and nutrition. Your word is bronchitis. Infection and inflammation affecting the, conduct, the conducting tubes of the lungs. Bronchitis. Begin. Bron bronchitis. B-R-O-N-C-I-T-E-S-T. -E Incorrect. Bronchitis. B R O N K I T E E S T. Incorrect. Could you repeat the word, please? Bronchitis. B R O N. Continue. C I T I S T. Incorrect. The correct spelling of bronchitis is B R O N C H I T I S. St. Matthew's Roman Catholic School. Your word comes from the category professions and occupations. Your word is agronomist, a train, someone trained in the science of soil management and the production of field crops. Agronomist, begin. Agronomist. A G R O N O M I S T. Correct. St. Peter's Catholic School. Your word comes from the category festival, and your word is revelry. Songs of revelry came from next door. Revelry. Begin. R-E-V-E-L-R-Y. Correct. <laughs> we have come to the end of round three. Okay, and at the end of this round, we have two schools Two participants being eliminated. Um, I'm going to call the school and you'll just come forward. We have Constantine Methodist. And we have St. Martin the Poorest Catholic. Okay, we move on now to round four. Okay, we are going on to round four. I want to remind our participants again as I call the word. After I call the word, please repeat the word you think you heard, just to make sure you heard what we think you heard. Okay, does that make sense to you? Okay, so we will start again with Alpha Junior School. Your word comes from the category language and arts. Your word is phonetics. Phonetics is the study and classification of speech and sounds. Phonetics. Begin. Phonetics. P-H-O-N-E. 
E T I C S. Correct. Beacon Junior School. Your word comes from the category sports. Your word is ineligible, not eligible, not permitted or suitable. Ineligible. Begin. Ineligible. I N E L L I G E B L E. Incorrect. Ineligible. I N E L I G E B L E. Incorrect. Ineligible. I N E L I G I B L E. Correct. Berean Christian Academy. Your word comes from the category festival. Your word is Oktoberfest. Oktoberfest is the world's largest folk fest. Oktoberfest. Begin. Oktoberfest. O C T O B E R F E S T. Incorrect. Oktoberfest, O-C-T-O-B-E-R-F-E-I-S-T. Incorrect. Oktoberfest, O-C-T-O-B-E-R-F-E-S-S-T. Incorrect. The correct spelling of Oktoberfest is O-K-T-O-B-E-R-F-E-S-T. Kalist Government School. Your word comes from the category words commonly misspelled. Your word is minuscule, meaning very small or tiny. Minuscule. Begin. Minuscule. M I N I C. Minuscule. M I N I S C U L E. Minuscule. Incorrect. Minuscule. M I N I S C U L, minuscule. Incorrect. The correct spelling of minuscule is M I N U S C U L E. Grace Lutheran. Your word comes from the category sports, and your word is Paralympic. The Paralympic Games is a competition for people with physical disabilities that happen immediately after the Olympics. Paralympic. Begin. Paralympic. P-A-R-A-O-L-Y-M-P-I-C. Incorrect. P-A-R-O-M-P P-A-R-O-M Your word is incorrect. The correct spelling of Paralympic is P-A-R-A-L-Y-M-P-I-C. Limes Mennonite School. Your word is coming from the category astrology and astronomy. Your word is penumbra. In a lunar eclipse, the outer shadow or penumbra is a zone where Earth blocks a portion of the sun's rays. Penumbra. Begin. Penumbra, P-E-N-U-M-B-O-R-A. Incorrect. Penumbra, P-E-N-U-M-B-R-A. Correct. St. <laughs> Andrew's Roman Catholic School.
Your word comes from the category emotions and personal traits. Your word is abominable. Abominable refers to the instance that causes moral revulsion. Abominable. Begin. Abominable. A-B-O-M-A-N-A-B-L-E. Incorrect. Abominable. A-B-O-M-I-N-A-B-L-E. Correct. St. George's Anakin Senior School. Your word comes from the category sports. Your word is bobsleigh. A sled having two pairs of runners, a brake, and a steering wheel or other mechanism that enables the front rider to direct the sled down a steeply banked run or shoot. Bob Bobsleigh. Begin. Bobsleigh. B O B S L I E G H. Incorrect. Bobsleigh. B O B S L E I G H. Correct. St. Joseph's Catholic Primary School, Pomrose. Your word comes from the category emotions and personal traits. Your word is melancholy. After her grandmother died, Sam felt melancholy. Melancholy. Melan Begin. Melancholy. M-E-L-O-N-A-L-N-I. Incorrect. M-E-L-O-N. C A N O N E Incorrect. The correct spelling of melancholy is M E L A N C H O L Y. St. Matthew's Roman Catholic School. Your word comes from the category flora and fauna. Your word is epiphyte. And epiphyte is, an, is a plant that grows on another plant but does not feed from it. Epiphyte. Epiphyte. E-P-I-P-H-Y-T-E. T E correct. St. Peter's Catholic School. Your word comes from the category sports. And your word is Taekwondo. Taekwondo is a sport originally from Korea in which people fight with arms, legs, and feet. Taekwondo. Begin. Taekwondo. T-Y-K-W-A-N-D-O. Incorrect. Taekwondo. T-Y-C-W-A-N-D-O. Incorrect. The correct spelling of Taekwondo is T-A-E-K-W-O-N-D-O. We have come to the end of round four. This is the end of round four, but we have, we need 10 participants to go forward to the finals. So we have four 
participants right now for illumination. But how we will do that is that we will do the tiebreaker. And just let me read the rules for the tiebreaker again. In the event that all words of a round have been exhausted or we have a tie among two or more participants, the tie must be broken by a sudden death spell off. This spell off allows each participant 90 seconds to spell as many words as possible. The words will be given by the moderator. The participant with the highest number of correctly spelled words will emerge as the winner of the tiebreaker. So we will have a spell off. So the, the schools in the tiebreaker, Birian Academy, Birian Christian Academy, Calise Government School, St. Joseph Catholic Promrose and St. Peter's Catholic School. Come forward. St. Joseph's Catholic, Primrose, come forward. And St. Peter's Catholic. Right? Now, the person in this, um, in this spell off, the participant with the least amount of correctly spelled words will be eliminated. So we're looking for three participants to move forward into the finals. So you have 90 seconds to spell as many words as possible. You will not be given an explanation, a definition of a sentence. They'll just call the word you spell. If it's incorrect, we just keep moving until your 90 seconds has elapsed. And you will hear a bell at the end of the 90 seconds, okay? Okay, just a reminder, you have one chance to spell the word. You will hear the word only once. So we begin with Berean Christian Academy. I remind the audience to be very quiet during this spell off. The first word is bequeath. 
Bequeath, B-E-Q-U-I-T-H-E. Incorrect. Your next word is syncretism. Syncretism. Syncretism, S-Y-C-N-C-L-A-T-I-S-M. Incorrect. Your next word, Gianticline. Gianticline, G-I-A-N-T-I-C-L-I-N-E. Incorrect. Your next word, Paraguay. Paraguay, P-A-R-A-G-U-A-Y. Correct. Your next word, supersede. Supersede, S-U-P-E-R-S-E-D-E. -E. Correct. Your next word, crucifixion. Crucifixion, C-R-U-C-I-F-I-X-I-O-N. Correct. Your next word, lacolith. Lacolith, L-A-C-O-L-I-T-H. Incorrect. Your next word, angelology. Angelology, A-N-G-E-L-O-L-O-G-Y. Incorrect. Okay, correction, that word is correct. But your 90 seconds has been exhausted. Thank you. Okay, so we're moving on to Kaliste. Your turn. Acupuncture. Ac agriculture. Acupuncture. Acupuncture. A C U. A C I P U L T U R E. Acupuncture. Incorrect. Current. Current. P O R O N T, current. 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 C U R R O N T, current. Cenozoic. Cenozoic. S E N O Z O I C, Cenozoic. Insolvency. 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 I N S U L G A N C Y, insolvency. Arbitrator. Arbitrator. A R B I T R A I T O R. Arbitrator. Amalgamate. Amalgamate. A M A L G O M A T E. Amalgamate. Abstinence. Abstinence. A B S O N A N C E. Abstinence. Nicaragua. Nicaragua. N I C A R A G U A Nicaragua Antioxidants Antioxidants A N T I O X I D E N C E Antioxidants Perseverance Perseverance P E R S I V E R A N C E Perseverance Okay your time is up So we are moving on to Pomeroy's.
Thanks for your patience. We are going on to St. Joseph's Catholic School. Ready? Algorithm. Algorithm. A L G O R I T H M. Analog. Analog. A N A L O G U E. Correct. Both correct. Ballistics. Ballistics. B I L L I S T I C. Incorrect. Cash. Cash. C A C H E. Correct. Cipher. Can you repeat the word, please? Cipher. Cipher. C H Y P E R. Incorrect. Cryogenics. Cryogenics. C R Y O G E N E I C S. Incorrect. Ergonomics. Ergonomics. E R G A N O M I C S. Incorrect. Mnemonic. Mnemonics. N E M O N I C. Incorrect. Fishing. Fishing. P H I S I N G. Incorrect. Revolutionize. Revolutionize. R E. V O L U L U T I N I Z E Incorrect. Okay, and we're on to St. Peter's Catholic School. Apothecary. Apothecary. A-P-O-T-H-E-C-A-R-Y. Correct. Archaeologist. Archaeologist. A-R-C-H-A-E-O-L-O-G-I-S-T. Correct. Chauffeur. Chauffeur. C H A U F F E U R. Correct. Concierge. Concierge. C O N C I E R G E. Correct. Entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. E N T R E P R E N E U R. Correct. Etymology. Etymology. E T. Y M O L O G Y. Correct. Pediatrician. Pediatrician. P A E D I A T R I C I A N. Correct. Paleontologist. Can you please repeat the word? Paleontologist. Paleontologist. P E N E A T O L O G I S T. Incorrect. Statistician. Statistician. S T A T I S T I C I A N. Correct. Phlebotomist. Phlebotomist. P H L E B O T O M I S T. Correct.
Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've come to the end of the tiebreaker session, but we want to give Kalis Government School another chance because all the other participants had a chance where they heard correct or incorrect and he didn't. So he got a lot more words, so we want to give him a chance. So come back again, Kalis Government. You ready? Yes. Nice. Okay, let's go. Baroque. Baroque. B A R O Q E. Baroque. Correct. Crescendo. 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 C R E S C E N D O. Crescendo. Cor correct. Symbol. Symbol. C Y M B A L. Symbol. Correct. Dissonance. Dissonance. D I S S O N A N C E. Dissonance. Correct. Didgeridoo. Didgeridoo. D Didgeridoo. Didgeridoo. D I D G E R D O O. Didgeridoo. Incorrect. Euphonium. Euphonium. E U P H O N I U M. Euphonium. Correct. Harmonious. Harmonious. H A R M O N I O U S. Harmonious. Correct. Glissando. Glissando. G L I S S A N D O. Glissando. Correct. Impromptu. Impromptu. I M P R O M P T U impromptu. Correct. Ligature. Ligature. L I G A T U R E ligature. Correct. Polyphonic. Polyphonic. P O L Y P H O N I C polyphonic. Correct. I think this was very exciting. So the schools, the participants moving forward to the finals, we have Birian Academy. <laughs> Birian Christian Academy, I'm sorry. We have St. Peter's. And we have Kalis Government School. So the participant not moving forward is the participant from um, St. Joseph Catholic Promrose. Let us give her a very big round of applause. She did excellent.
final round of the competition. So as I call your name, please, as I call your school, please stand. Alpha Junior School. Beacon Junior School. Burian Christian Academy. Police Government School. Grace Lutheran School. Limes Mennonite. St. Andrews RC. St. George's Anglican Senior School. St. Matthew's RC. St. Peter's Catholic School. Thank you. And now we have a break before we go into the final round. Thank you. Finals begin at 1 p.m. sharp. So please, finalists, ensure that you...